Hello guys, welcome back to TSBEC TV. We are at LRO 2017 and for this video we are in the car park because the first time I came here I was blown away by the sheer number of Land Rovers in the car park alone and I thought that could be a show in itself. So we're going to have a quick wander around and pick out some of our favourites. So first up we've got this Discovery 4 which I believe is Keswick Green. I might be wrong but anyway it's a green of some description but I think the colour is awesome and I don't even know if this is a factory standard colour. Nice black rims as well, quite low profile so I think I'd stick something a bit beefier on. But rather nice and all blacked out as well. I think that's really smart. Vauxhall insignia. <laughs> Next up is this 130 which has come all the way from France and it's not so much the car I'm interested in as the amount of stuff that he has in the back. I don't think he's been bought at LRO but um, this is some serious dedication. He's probably got enough to build a whole car or maybe he has got a whole car under there. So we just come across this is a Range Rover P38 in what looks like military or possibly Armageddon spec. It's like matte olive green with some sort of vents on the side. Um, yeah, just looks a bit rad really. Current gen Range Rover and it's muddy. Love seeing that. And up here we have our first bobtail find of the car park. Serious props to whoever drove that here, that is awesome. Who the hell let this in? <laughs> this is the Land Rover only car park and uh, there's a Jeep Wrangler just hiding amongst some Defenders and Range Rovers. Land Rover lightweight, pretty rare actually, first one we've seen in the car park I think. And uh, that one has a Mercedes badge on it. So either it's got a swapped engine or it's just having an identity crisis, I don't know. But it looks kind of cool. So Fred, my cameraman, tells me there's a Freelander here but I can't see anything so I don't quite know what he's on about. It wouldn't be a British show without rain, so we are now completely soaked, but we're going to carry on for your sake. Evoke here in a stunning dark blue colour, really really like this, it's almost like pearlescent, it's sort of much darker or lighter depending on where the light hits it, uh, but really like that spec. Range Rover Classic in, funnily enough, almost the same colour as the Evoke, but very very nice spec again. Another, what I believe is Keswick Green, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Defender 90. This one is a 90 pickup, which is not a very common configuration, but one of the best looking, I think. It's got the sawtooth alloys on, absolutely love those, probably my favourite, but ridiculously expensive. And then the SVX grill, uh, SVX grill and headlamp surrounds, which personally not my taste, but actually looks pretty good on this spec. Zebra skin, need I say more? Another 90 pickup, awesome configuration with a very striking blue, nice grippy tyres, roll cage, side exit, exit exhaust and tree sliders. Awesome. I think these two are proof that no two Land Rovers are the same and that one's been hand painted. Chorus grey, sawtooth alloys, nice simple spec choice but really, really smart and always a winner. Defender 110 Adventure Edition, one of the three uh, special editions they did to celebrate the end of the Defender. That gives you wheels, decals, grill, um, special bash guards and things underneath, and the roof rack and the colour. Very, very nice and very sought after as well. Disco 5, only seen two of those here this year. Really nice, quite controversial amongst purists in the Land Rover community, but I think it's a really awesome car in both the way it looks and drives, and also had quite a lot of off-road experience with them, and I can tell you they are unbeatable. That is it for our little wander through the car park. Obviously, there's plenty more Land Rovers to have a look at, but we'll be here until next year if we have a look at every single one. But this video just proves that every single Land Rover here is unique um, and has its own little personality traits. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.